maybe the brain, for example, maybe there's 1,200 genes that collaborate to have your brain function really well. And there are things that can go wrong. But in the case of bipolar, what's going wrong is that you have a genetic weakness in the team of ion channels. However, it takes relentless DNA damage and accumulation of new mutations year by year by year until you get to the point where you've lost control of neuron regulation. And in general, you tend to get hyperactivity across you, many neurotransmitters. And when you say mutation, do you mean the person already has sort of like a vulnerability, but then epigenetically it gets expressed? When, when you're saying mutation, I just want to make sure I there, understand. There's two kinds of mutations. There are somatic <laughs> mutations, which are inborn. Right. And then there are new mutations that develop with time, with DNA damage. Okay. So that's what you're referring to. So that's something, what I'm referring to. So the vulnerabilities there, and then there's some damaging oxidative stress that's... Well, you get, addi you get additional damage. And, and so what you're getting is more complexity and more damage. You're, you're um, ex accentuating and magnifying those genetic imbalances. And it gets worse, more complex and more severe with time. And, and it eventually gets to the point where you lose effective regulation of some of the really important neurotransmitters, initially with hyperactivity.